Okay, next chapter is chapter four, route inspection. Now, what we're trying to do in route inspection is find routes which cover every arc in a graph or digraph with the shortest, smallest total weight possible. So whereas with deep straws and floods, we looked at routes that went from a start point to an end point where we didn't have to visit every arc. In route inspection, we're trying to visit every arc. It's sometimes got a postman problem because the postman has to visit every street. Now, you might have come across this little puzzle before where you have to draw the shape of this house as you arrive without taking a pen off the paper. If you say start at the top, what you'll quickly find is it's impossible. Because no matter what you do, if you start at the top, you can't do it. So you did that one twice. So you're only going to go over each arc once on the turn. Let's try the top left. Starting point. It's close, but you can never quite do it. But if you start at one of the bottom two, you'll find it's almost possible. So start at bottom right. It really doesn't matter which way you go. If you start at one of the bottom ones, you'll end up at the other bottom ones. But why? <coughs> if you look at the degree or the order of each node, which will notice the number of arcs instant to it, the number of arcs attached. So you've got one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's the fact those are odd, which means you can start from one of them and end from one of them. Because if you're passing through it, you're going to need an arc into it and out of it. So if you've got an arc into and out of it, you can't start and end there unless it's the same point as the start and finish. So this is an example of what's called a semi eulerian graph. A semi eulerian graph. A semi eulerian graph has one pair of odd nodes. If you want to find a trial, which is one that, um, where you go over each arc once and once only, um, then you will need to start at one odd and end at the other odd. Now, if I were to extend that a little bit, and add another point at the bottom, now you can see all the orders are even. And this is called an Eulerian graph. And with an Eulerian graph, if all the all the um, nodes are even, you can start at any point and you can end at that same point. And it can be any of them, doesn't matter which. So I have to do this one here. Right, so you start and end at the same point. So Eulerian has no odd. Nodes. And that's said to be what's called traversable, so you can do a trial that starts and ends at the same point, passing through every arc. That's what the trial is. So, if we look at example one, we've got here a graph, six points, and we'll have to state whether it's or near in semi or neither. But to do that, we have to first look at uh, the order of each point node. So, two, one, two, three, so it can't be near it. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. So it's always semi linear. We're then asked to work out a trial. So the trial must start at one of the odds. So we'll say start at B. Could do B, A, F, E. Do C. So we started at the one odd, ended at the other odd. If you have a quick look at how many times each letter appears, A appears once, B appears twice, uh, C appears twice, D appears once, E appears twice. Thank you.
from the start and end point, which had um, an extra value to that. All of the other ones will appear exactly half the number of their order. So because A has got an order of 2, it will appear once in your trial. F is going to appear once, A is going to appear twice. And that's one way of checking that you haven't made any death mistakes with it. Now, example 2. Example 2 says that you've got a connected graph with 5 nodes. The order of the nodes is 4, 6, 3, 2, and P. Explain why the graph can't be Eulerian. It can't be Eulerian because you've got an odd. Explain why the graph must be semi Eulerian. Well, odds always come in pairs. Um, so if you've got one odd, there must be at least one more odd. There must be an even number of odds. So P must be odd. So it must be semi Eulerian because you've got one pair of odds. Given the number of edges, uh, give the number of edges contained in the network in terms of P. Well, the total order is always double the number of edges. That's because each edge will add two to the total order. So, if I add up the orders, 14, 13, 15, 15 plus P, that will be twice the number of edges. So the number of edges is half it. And then finally, it says draw a graph with two nodes which are neither Eulerian or semi Eulerian. This is actually quite extraordinarily difficult. So if you start off with two points A, B, join them up, they're going to have order or not. You've got one pair of odds, so it's semi Eulerian. 2, 2, Eulerian. 3, 3, semi Eulerian. So you're going to keep going from semi Eulerian to Eulerian. Well, what about moving? Well, that's just going to add 2 to it, so it's going to do nothing. In fact, the only way of drawing a graph that's neither Eulerian or semi Eulerian, with just two nodes, is not to join them up. Because to be Eulerian or semi Eulerian, it must be a connected graph, which is impossible if you don't join them up. So have a go now, exercise 4.